What a 72! Wow, look at this. Six and a half thousand dollars. I'm an amateur racer and my car needs a number of parts to be checked and replaced. Here's the list. Check all four wheels and brakes. Okay, it's easy enough. Check the gearbox and the clutch. Ugh. Check the engine and exhaust. Oh my god. Well. Uh, check the engine and exhaust. That's a lot of checking. A lot of checking. A lot of chicken. I'm going to jump in here. I'm going to try and take some shortcuts. I don't fancy disassembling his entire car. I mean, what's left? Check the gearbox and clutch. Check the engine and exhaust. Check the wheels and the brakes. Well, there's not a lot left once we've done that. <laughs> Just basically check the entire car. Okay, what did that highlight? No problems with the electrical system. Let me just zoom in there. Yeah, I think his plugs are fine. Let's pop that cover off. Of course, we should probably take the oil. Yeah, the plugs are green on that side. And I think they're green on this side. Yeah. Okay, so we don't need to worry about that stuff. Uh, we should probably check all of this lot, though. That's fine, 85%. Eighty-two, eleven. Okay, that's knackered. That's fine. That's fine. Don't know why I took that off. I really don't. Okay, so right. We need only a belt or two there. What else can we check while we're down here? That's fine, but it's going to have to come off anyway. Because we've got to check the gearbox. You are going to need to come out, sir. And once we get the gearbox out, we're going to have to take all the axle out. Oh no, it's a real drive. Oh, good grief. Oh, good grief. Drive shaft. It's going to have to come out. We've got to check the exhaust. Drive shaft needs to come out. Oh wow. This is bigger than I thought. <laughs> it really is. This is a car disassembly, that's what this is. You can't take off the drive shaft. Unless you take off the rear the rear diff. And you can't take off the diff unless you take off the axles. You can't take the axles off unless you take the wheels off. It's like my god. Um, I'll tell you what we can do. We can do an inspection on the exhaust system while we're down here. 8%. 95. 95. Okay. Now, apart from the muffler, which I may incorrectly assume is going to be okay, at the moment the only thing that's wrong is the middle V6 muffler. Sorry, the manifold, not the muffler. The manifold. I'm going to assume that's okay for now. But. Yeah, well, won't let me inspect it. I can't inspect the manifold. Um, I have to pop it back down and take the bleeding wheels off now. It's not exactly pain is that much. Not really. I'm sure we've had more money than this for less effort. Okay, you're dissing knackered. We can see that much. I bet your pads are worn out. Just take that lot off. Rear wheel comes off. And... Brake disc is unknown. Caliper's fine. 
That is fine. Okay. Now we can drop the left axle out. There we go. Which you needed to do anyway. To get the diff off. Do the same to this side. Just completely disassemble this guy's car. Kind of feeling like we're in end game territory now. Alright, right, you know how to do all this stuff. Now I'm just going to make you do it all. Come on. Oh, that one. There we go. Uh, let's take this front wheel off anyway, because we need to inspect all these pads and these discs and these calipers and... We might as well just take it off. See what we need to do. We're going to have a massive parts lift list at the end of this. Massive. Okay. Nothing else we need to do there. Check all four wheels and brakes. We've done that. Check the gearbox and clutch. Check the engine and exhaust. We've checked the engine. The exhaust we've checked. Gearbox and clutch. We're not quite disassembled yet. Oh, we've not taken the axle off. Uh, I presume we need to pop this back up now to get the diff off. Okay, off comes a diff. Whoa, not that one, dude. That one. Off comes a drive axle. Cool. Now we can pop it back down. And hurrah! Gearbox can come off. I wonder what state that's in. 94%. Right, that's good. It's bound to be a little component in here that's not right. 95. Pressure plate is... I bet the friction plate's done. Pressure plate's on 5%. Friction plate's on 95%. I think that is most of the car in my backpack. Um... We don't need to do any of those. No, I don't want to repair that. I just want to scroll right, you stupid thing. Wow, that's that's a naff interface. There's no scroll bar. Okay, right. None of that's repairable. Which means we're in with a big shopping bill. What do we need? We need a timing belt for a V6. Did we need a serpentine belt? Or isn't the one? There isn't one. Oh, yes, there is. There is. Durr. Timing belt for a V6. And a muffler for a V6 middle. T for timing belts. V6. And a muffler. Where are you? Muffler. For a V6 middle. Which is that one. I'm going to get rid of that timing belt V6 and that muffler V6 middle. Look at this. Look at this part list. My God. Clutch pressure plate and a brake disc. Oh, two brake discs. And a wheel. Clutch pressure plate. Plethor Can you say that? Clutch pressure plate. Two brake discs. And a Vulcan Spectre wheel. Nope. Two Vulcan Spectre wheels. Wow. They're expensive. A clutch... What are you? Clutch pre pressure plate. Seriously, you can't say that quickly. Clutch pressure plate. Uh, a couple of Vulcan Spectre wheels, wasn't it? Genesis, no. Vulcan Spectre wheel, look at the price. One of them. Two of them. What was the other one? Was it? Oh, I forgot what the other item was. Let's get rid of that Vulcan Spectre wheel. Brake discs, that's always it. Uh, get rid of that one. Where's my clutch pressure plate? There he is. Right. That leaves one disc, two disc, and that's it. Two brake discs, and we're into assembly mode. This is quite a complicated job. I have to say. Okay, brake disc, sold, brake disc, 
sold all parts now green cool now the mammoth <laughs> reassembling this thing and hoping it's all okay now you did say check the engine I am slightly concerned that we have not checked any of this there's the filter if they're being really sneaky and we've not done the oil either if they're being really sneaky the filter will be done over no the filter's fine okay they're not being that sneaky the oil needs to be checked straight after this before I forget not do we drain that do we drain that let's check the oil filter we've not actually done that we've not even done the fuel filter thinking about this which is a bit remiss of me to be honest because I kind of feel that we should now the oil filter is fine so I'm not going to replace no I don't want to replace the engine cover I want to go down there and that back in thank you very much weird the oil filter click box is actually above it it's like it's not there it's like above it here right I'm not going to touch the oil and if it doesn't repair it at the end then I'm going to change the oil then but we'll see if we can not do that because it looks kind of okay Personally, if you're coming in for such major work like this, I'm pretty certain you'd do the oil anyway. Alright. What else can we do while we're here? We can put that starter motor back on. That's what we can do. We can put these belt belts back on. Get that one out of the way. That's good. It's good. It's looking good. Um, 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 um. Let's put the w front wheels back now. I think we can do the front wheels. Just making sure as we go along that all of the parts that we're putting back are in good condition. They should be. Nice shiny wheel for you, sir. That's that side done. Like disc. Let's put that pad on first, I think. Then this pad. Then the caliper. Strictly speaking, we should be doing brake fluid and then bleeding the system and all that kind of gubbins. That's the front on. I think we're going to have to go underneath now. Um, let's just have a look at our parts list here. Still not small. Okay. Let's pop this thing back up. Have we ticked any boxes yet? We've done the engine. That's good. We should have done the wheels and brakes when we put them on. Engine exhaust. Okay. I am worried about getting to the end of this and it basically saying, nope. You're not done yet, pal. That does worry me. Right, let's put the drive shaft back on. Let's do that. Now let's get the muffler. Which we purchased. Back on. Now we don't want to do the exhaust just yet. That goes last. So that's the drive axle back on. Now we're going to need to pop up and reassemble. Actually, we could do the... Um, do the exhaust while we're down here now. Bolting parts on with three meter arms. That's what we're doing. Bolting back up from a distance. Alrighty then. Let's get you back on. Just a drive axle. And then we can put the disc back on. Put the inner pad back on first. Then the outer pad. Then the brake caliber. Caliper. 
than the wheel. I'm getting there. We are getting there. Like I say, if it's not all done at the end though, I will cry tears of blood and stuff. But that's okay, you won't see that. Uh, break disc. Inner pad. Outer pad. Come on. Let's do this. I'm hopeful. Maybe stupidly so, but I am hopeful. We haven't done the fuel filter. Um, wasn't really asked to. What else have we got left? Just the engine cover. Alright, what's that ticked? Oh yes! Oh yes! Oh yes! Look at this! Oh! Job is a good one. Let's pop the bonnet stroke hood back down on that. Six and a half grand. No idea if we made any money or not. Because there's no profit and loss in this game. But we know that. The important thing is, order 72, which was quite a big one, is done.